Right, so today it's going to be Hokkien Mee. I've got my cooked egg noodles here, uh, my bihun, shrimp, garlic, and of course the bean sprouts and chives. Very simple ingredients today. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot the broth. Okay, this is made from dried shrimp, which I fried and then uh, boiled. So this liquid that I extracted will be a very important ingredient in flavoring the dish. For some of you, this may seem like a repeat dish, but for home cooking, there's really no such thing as a repeat dish. The ingredients which you get in January may not be exactly the same as the ingredients you get in February. Also, the mood of the cook varies from time to time and this will affect the taste of the dish. I don't know what's going to make it taste saltier, spicier or sweeter, but uh, we'll soon find out what my mood is like today. Alright, the garlic is beginning to sizzle in the oil. I just stir this around for a bit. You don't need, really need to brown the garlic, right? Just make sure that uh, you got some fragrance coming out. All right. Next, we put in the eggs. All right, the eggs are in. I'll just stir them a bit. Make sure they're not runny before I add in my noodles. Okay. All done. My noodles. These are your egg noodles, cooked egg noodles. well okay shrimp and at this point I give it some pepper white pepper okay. toss it around a bit Now for the main flavoring in ingredient, which is our shrimp stock. Okay, this is about good enough. And we'll put in our bean sprouts and our chives maybe a little bit more of that shrimp stock Put on the lid and let it stew for a while. All right, about five minutes, and our Hokkien mee is done. I'll put it on a plate and let you have a closer look at it. 
Alright, some sambal chili at the side and a slice of lime and we are ready to tuck in. Looks like I'm in quite a good mood today.